You're watching Island Slayers TV. Make sure to like and subscribe. Anything we can get. Right now we just caught a little sand perch. And these things, not a lot of people know this, but they're actually really good to eat. And uh, I just kept it. The sand perch right here. Just showing the ice right now. That's him. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a big sand perch. That's what he looks like right there. Yeah, that's a big sand perch, but I'm putting him back in the ice. Oh, wait, I'll notify you guys to catch another fish. Turner just hooked up on one of the smallest mangroves I've ever seen. Yeah, I really did the hook set of doom on his ankle. He, he hook set it so hard. Hold on. Dude. Well, yeah, he's got his bell open. Yeah, you can see that. Freaking moving, dude. Yeah, there was one. There's one. It's a hook. Actually, don't let him. Okay, there he is. Oh, uh, freaking. They yeah, they always drop it. It's kind of annoying. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, shoot, it's huge. Get real, boy. Hold on. We need a real. That we need a real. It's not too big. Oh, yeah, it's not big. Stupid freaking catfish. Come up already, bro. I don't even fight that hard. It's like catfish. Freaking, I hate kick him out and then you just send him off on his way. No, no, no. You, you can grab the That's tail. been a little bit slow, but I just got this little mangrove. Definitely not keeper. I'm gonna go release this guy, unhook him. Turner just got hooked up to a little snapper. Let's show him. That's Turner's little snapper. Okay, let's try and get a nice pretty release on him. Oh my god, there's so many. Nice. All right, let him go. Yeah, I love releasing these things because they're so fast. I'm going to go get a lucky one that swims away slow. Like that one. <laughs> pretty dope. Yeah. All right. Now, see what happens. Ooh. Oh, I just missed it. Yeah, I don't even know how to like, eat it. That was a good one. Too. All right. I'm just playing around with mine. Ooh, I think I got one. Hold on. Hold on. No, I don't. Wait. Kind of hard, oh, I got one. Freaking, I was just stupid filming and my freaking bait came off. Dude. Yo, I don't know if I want to touch that. Dude, what is that thing? It's like a, it looks like a Magikarp in, in Pokemon or something like that. Just, bro, bring that thing up. I want to put it. Bring it up. I'm not touching it, but, bro. Oh. Dude, can you guys see that? I don't know how I feel about You can't even see it in the lighting. <laughs> Do you guys see this? Do you guys see the freaking... Oh my gosh, he's throwing up water. No, he's trying to blow himself up, but he has no water to blow himself up with. Oh my gosh. What do you, th what do you think it's called? Probably a death fish. Well, fish, I was thinking porcupine fish. Oh, I want to see how he swims back. Oh my gosh, dude, do you see that thing? <laughs> it's freaking crazy. <laughs> Dang, I gotta reply. What number is this? Seven. All right, Turner got snapper number seven a for both bloody. of us, I guess. It's a little bit bloody, but I don't know why. Really small. I can get him out real quick, though. <laughs> I got a snapper, and Matthew lost his lure. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, this better be the outro. What? Can you pass me my dog, demon? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just release it at Matt. <laughs> Uh, Matthew just hooked up on this caddy. It's pretty big. It's like a pretty small. That's a nice caddy. No, it's not. Nobody really cares how big it is. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. It's Unless it's like world record. All right. Well, guys, we came out. I don't even know. We just hooked up a bunch of freaking mangroves and lost like a bunch. And we literally we just now, I literally just bro. now watched this snook launch four foot out of the water on a mullet. Oh yeah, right, awesome. right here, dude. On the bow of that boat, dude. Just, that, that, uh, yeah, just like started. completely out of the water. Yeah. Sick. But I'm kind of pissed off right now because, uh, was, yeah, my dock demon freaking snaps. All right, guys, let me show you my dock demon. Hold on. All right, mm. so look. It's freaking completely snapped. Ooh, that's, that's rough. Dude, I know. I'm just gonna tape it, I think. But yeah. All right. I'll see you guys. Right now, I'm letting Turner do the filleting job. Because he's kind of bad at it. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at filleting so fish. This guy is 12 inches. There's no size limit on these things, I don't think. But 12 inches. 
definitely not bad. So you yeah, a lot, I don't think many people eat these, but and you kind of just want to pierce the skin a little bit. Oh shit! Here, now let's make sure we're getting in the meat here. They just want to pierce right there. Well, make sure you're getting all the getting, meat. Yeah, feet, you should be able to feel the backbone. Like can you hear that? I'm not the best at fling. Okay, I'll uh, say that yeah. now. Are you on the backbone? I'm pretty sure. I'm close to it at least. Yeah, bro, you better not mess up my fish. I'm just kidding. Okay, pop it out at the end. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Dude, look at that white meat, dude. You would never expect a sand perch to look like that. Shout out to Land Shark. You taught me everything I know. <laughs> Do you remember for dinner? Hey. I think Land Shark's probably like the best filleting YouTuber. He's probably like the best YouTuber for filleting fish. I don't think I did too bad. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. That's yeah, good. I missed the rib cage. The only little suction I missed. Tiny little piece. Yeah, just perfect, dude. Can I try the other side and then if I fail, I'll just hand it over to you. Actually, really, look guys, look to this. No Bro, bloodline. Yeah, you see this? No bloodline. Look at this thing, dude. Beautiful. No blood line. All right, you do the skinning. You'll skin it. Yeah, I got skin too. So you just want to get like right there. Just the meat right there. So you just kind of like skim it down, just like just that. so you can get like a like a little starting point. Now this is kind of hard to do. This is a tricky, tricky process. But, uh, if you got a good knife, you can usually get it done. All right, perfect. Let's see this. I'm happy I Better did. than what I would do. All right, right now we're going to see what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If if you botch it, I'll like kind of try and fix it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to not put my foot. Okay, here, right. here. This is how I fully a fish. Kind of angle and I like, parallel a little bit. Now watch your fingers. Now we're going to poke it out the end here. Oh, wait, stop. I'm, I really hope you don't botch this fillet. Not bad. Probably. They got weird veins on them. Well, let me know if you want me to hop in and do the deed. It's gonna get demonetized. Well, we don't even make money yet. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it got demonetized. <laughs> My first actual fillet, actually. This is, I think. Let me just cook them. Okay, now poke it out the end. Watch your fingers. Oh, you almost cut yourself. No, I didn't. That's crap. That's kind of dodgy. Hold on. <laughs> Here, let me just. You want me to finish it up? No, I got it. Oh, that boy missed a ton of meat. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no I can do that. I can do that. It's not working. That's fine. Look, still attached. Where are you going? Okay. I think you uh Botched got it? too into uh yeah ma maybe a little bit. No. W why are you going up that way? No, I'm good. I think you may have gotten a little bit more meat than me, but you missed like kind of the tail section a little bit. Let me just get those right to me right now. Okay. That's actually not bad for my first fillet, I would say. What do you think? Okay, well, now let's compare. Oh, uh, oh shoot, I missed There's his fillet, and then here's his fillet. You can obviously tell that he's better at filleting fish than me, but I mean, not too bad. Considering okay, now let's fish. flip size. Let's check fish. Right there, that's his side, and then here's my side. You missed this? Alright, but that's a good fillet joke. Okay, you want me to skin it? Yeah, yeah, you gotta skin this thing. Okay, let's get the skinning process. Okay. I'm just gonna skin it since I don't know how to skin a fish. Yeah, this there's this kid. I think named, I actually did get more. There's this than kid you. named Sal Boss Fisher. I did get more uh, meat than you actually. Ooh, a little bit more. You're just kind of mangled though. Yeah, I know, but like I'd probably get more meat than me. <laughs> Be mangled. But... <laughs> a little dangly guy. Yeah. But there's this kid named Sal Boss Fisher. I follow him on Instagram. He's actually pretty good at filleting fish and does pretty good catching trip videos. Or 13 year old at least but 
Yes, you're gonna lose a little bit of meat doing Why? that right there, but like this. Literally, all right, I'll just keep that as a little chicken nugget. A taste test size. I'll keep that as a chicken nugget. It's literally all blood one. It is. It looks like it. No, it's not. It's meat. Let's do it <laughs> Cue the deer meat for dinner intro. Do. Do do do. A tough skin guy right here, man. Yeah. Do. Do 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 do. You don't want to pull too hard. If you start to feel tension, I feel like you could be ripping the skin. Oh my gosh, Turner. You idiot. It's real. Yeah, that, that was real. Hey, it, it's literally my second time ever filleting. Or not second, but like third or fourth time filleting. Bro, this is my first time and I did it better than you. <laughs> Let's not say you did it better. You did it better, but I did got more meat out of it. For, oh, oh yeah, let's go. How much Perfect. skin? Is I, there's like no skin on there. Yeah, there's, what's that even called? Mercury? Is that what it's called? Mercury. <laughs> No, I think there's mercury in fish sometimes. Yeah, but okay, let's see who's fighting. I think it's bigger. mercury. I think my fillet is going to Yeah, you freaking cut out half the meat, bro. Alright, look, that, that, that was already being a dangly boy. I think I did get a little bit more meat. Alright, yeah. It's but like, it's like almost, that's how you fillet like fish. pretty much the same. And we're going to go feed the turtles with this guy. Alright, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. But yeah, we're going to feed the turtles with that. Okay, guys, so uh, we're cooking the fish right now. And then this is the mix I have right now. It's a mix of. Uh, flour right here, that would be the base, a, like a tablespoon of sugar, like if if that, like really uh, not a lot of sugar, yeah, tablespoon, uh, some seasoned breadcrumbs, I would say, I would say like a half a cup of breadcrumbs, and yeah, I had a half a cup of flour, probably put like a fourth a cup of Everglades seasoning, original. And probably like a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, just to add a little spice. And then I added probably like a fourth a cup of cornstarch as well. And yeah, so we're just frying the fish right here. And this is this is ever this is all of it mixed together in this bag. So now we're gonna just cut up the fish. It's right here in the fridge. So now we're just cutting up the fish, just getting a piece and then cutting it up into little bite-sized nuggets. Cutting it up. That should be good for one. Two. looks like all cut up now I'm just gonna pour it all into the bag and uh yeah try to do this with as clean as possible because flowers flour tends to get everywhere when you're cooking with it in a bowl I'll add one egg just like this like so. All right, so that's the egg all. So that's gonna be our egg wash. Just take the fish from this, add this into the egg, and then just take all the fish, add it in, add it in. Add it in. So guys, basically YouTube doesn't let me post videos for 15 minutes for some reason. So we have to end it short. I'm sorry. But it, we cooked it and it was pretty good. And I'll see you guys in the next video.